Hi. Hi. As you know, we are the best couple. Eh. 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 What does that mean? We are, we are, we are. We like, are after Naked and Charlie. They're first. Sure. Some time ago, a lot of time ago, uh, we asked you if you have some questions for us. We're the best straight couple. The best I'm straight I'm not couple. straight, but still. I'll take it. <laughs> you had a lot of questions for us and we're going to answer some of them. Yes. And, uh, you know, Hopefully you'll find it interesting. Yeah. They're in Spanish, so you know. I'll translate this. You'll translate and I put, I'll put them in English as well. A movie that we both hate. After. Yeah. What like else? most of the movies that I've reviewed. What else? Something that we haven't seen together but we still hate. Hmm. This is the thing, you sure when I like a movie you don't like it and vice versa. That happens way more it often. It happens a lot but not every time. Tell me a movie that you hate and let's see if I like or hate it. Good movie or bad movie? Bad movie. I don't like Fast and Furious movies. I no, really me neither. Don't like them. Me neither. Oh, we have one. Uh, and from good movies, I don't really like Gravity. I found it boring. I Oh, I've seen it. It was okay. I can't say I hate it. It's not bad, but I didn't really like it. I don't like Amelie, even though I like other things by that director. I've not seen it. I don't like it. I find it a bit boring, but I think it's not a bad movie it has like photography wise it's pretty good usually what happens is that i like a movie and she hates it she likes it i hate it or somewhere along those lines not necessarily we're not as far away from not the movies very far away but when i like it you just don't like it as much as i do for example yeah. you didn't felt as passionate about turning red as i did i loved it i adored the movie <laughs> i i it wasn't cute i don't know what and you didn't like everything everywhere all the time and I did enjoy it. I, I, I do think it's overhyped. Like, it didn't deserve the hype that it got. But I don't think it's that bad. I don't hate it. How do you know if you're really in love or, you're, or you only have attraction? I can't imagine a life, I mean, for me at least, I can't imagine a whole life with you and it doesn't sound like a nightmare. That's flattering. I mean, it doesn't mean it's not a nightmare, but it doesn't sound like a nightmare. Sometimes joking. it's a nightmare. How do you know when you're in love? I don't know. You have to have some reference like in past relationships and... Yeah, I don't kind know of. exactly. Because, you know, I thought I was in love a number of times before, but then I met you and we actually started <laughs> dating and I got to know how love actually feels. So I realized that past relationships, they were okay, weren't horrible people, but it wasn't love I from did. my part or theirs. Living together, for example, came very naturally. Like uh, you would be here and I would have roommates and you would have to leave at some point because it, would, it was very uncomfortable to sleep on that bed. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so you would have to leave some, sometimes. And I didn't want you to leave. I just wanted you to stay more and spend time together. Oh, so, you never told me that. Well, then I was saving it for the video. Okay. So uh, that's how, I don't know, it was a natural thing. Maybe that's how you can tell when things like next steps, serious stuff, come natural. Yeah. What is the moment that you know you liked each other? I think when I met you, like in the first date, I actually really liked you. Really? Yeah, I thought you were like, okay, this is the thing. I liked you on Tinder, like on the Tinder pictures, of course. But then when I met you and we started talking, I got a little bit tipsy that day. I was like, I actually like him. He's really sweet. And they invited you to my place. I mean, that was the role of the first date, right? That I felt the same way. I already was attracted to you. Actually talking to you, meeting you, I actually liked liked you as a person. Oh my God. They were getting cheesy in this video. Then I stopped, of course, the second yeah, date. Stop it. And you brought like, he brought like the worst, most turn off movie. He was like, oh, let's watch this horror movie, Hereditary, that has like a beheading scene that is super graphic and it's like, yeah, rip horny. I was going by the guy playbook, like watch a horror movie. She's gonna get scared, cuddle into you. Meanwhile, then I was like, nice good movie and i was like what what is happening <laughs> yeah i don't usually get as scared now i do get more scared than before how do you build trust with a partner is it possible to be a couple and friends at the same time yeah absolutely oh, it's preferable it's preferable like that will be the what, ideal situation would you like to be enemies you're my friend my best you're my friend. bestie if you will want to spend so much time with another person you best get along right yes. like and trust how you build trust i think when you enter in a, into a relationship it's an automatic thing of course yeah. you have to give that other person trust right off the bat because otherwise What's the point, right? No, yeah, absolutely. Like, it wouldn't work if it wasn't because of that. But yeah, no, you should be friends at the same time. Like, you should have friendly moments, let's say. Yes. Friendly situations. Like, for example, when I'm sad and you're like, oh, baby, and you cuddle me. It doesn't mean you have to do everything together. Of course not. Because, for example, you go to concerts, whereas I don't. Yeah, you really don't like concerts, so usually I either go alone or with friends if I have friends to go to. Yeah. You say that you have very different routines and personalities. I don't have a routine. How do you manage to function as a couple? Be deal of 
you guys. How do we function as a couple? It's having separate rooms. I think that's yeah. like key because since I have a regular sleep, the fact that you have a bed here, it's an advantage because if I have to stay away, <laughs> if I have to stay awake, I don't have to cover your sleep schedule. At the same time, since we generally don't eat the same food, mm -hmm. we don't eat together very often. One of the reasons why we want, manage to get along together is that we have many separate, yeah. even though we live in the same space. Like we have separate rooms, we eat separate things usually because you eat certain things, I eat other things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that actually influences a lot. I mean, we are very clearly defined personalities like this person knows. It's good to give the other person space to be himself herself. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, I agree with you. But we we do other things together, like showering. <laughs> We watch movies, we go, we go out sometimes. Yeah, we do. We talk about stuff. We cuddle. We cuddle. We cuddle a lot. I need a lot of cuddles. I require cuddles. Even if it's summer, 35 degrees. Yeah, I still need my cuddles. What did you learn about this relationship until now? That you are really funny when you get trust with someone, like spontaneously funny. You're very random. You're such a random person. You will be like in the middle of something, you will start singing a manana that you never heard, but somehow you know the lyric. You know, no one would probably believe you because I. I'm not funny in most contexts. No, you're funny. But when I'm comfortable, I am, I am, I think. It's not voluntary, like I don't want to be. I just feel good and I, I don't know, say something that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you're kind of like the cat, you know, you're like involuntarily funny. And what did I learn about this relationship or about you is the question. About the relationship. The relationship. I think I have, I'm gonna do the serious answer now. I think I have much more mature understanding of what it means to be in a relationship. Like that baby. You know, it, it's give and take and that's, that matters a lot. I agree. Do you have it easier to find solutions when you discuss or you need like a long time? When we have a, like one of us has a problem, of course we talk to the other person. Yeah, we usually do. And maybe you'll have a solution there, you know? That's the thing with a relationship. You are not alone, you have an ally. 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 Who's gonna help you do whatever it is you do? For example, bureaucracy. Oh yeah, you help me a lot with your or, bureaucracy. Or uh, calling a service. Or you help me a lot with calling. For example, when we order food and the <laughs> delivery person gets lost, she hands me the phone. It's like, okay, you tell him where to go. Yeah, because I, I'm, I'm really bad at I'm really bad at explaining addresses in Spanish. Imagine in Romanian. I'm, I'm I'm not that good either, but I kind of think I can figure it out with them. So <laughs> yeah. that's a thing, you know, I can take off her shoulders. Um, yeah, if we go to Spain and we order delivery, I can do that for you'll you. You'll do that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, a lot of people have said we look alike. We should be in one of those things, you know, with the pictures and the comparison. I think it's the eyebrows a little bit, like the eyebrow shape, because you have very thick eyebrows. Yeah. The nose as well, I think we'll have a similar nose. If you put our faces in the same position, you can kind of see it. I, I've seen people who look like me here, and I've seen yeah, less yeah. people that look like you. But I think it's because everyone has a coconut haircut here, and you don't. No. <laughs> People in Latin America don't know what a cocalar is. I think the reason why there's no more men that look kind of like you is because every single man here has that haircut that you don't. What is the hardest thing about living together? For me personally, is that I'm a mess. Dealing with that mess. Yes, like basically I'm very messy and I forget things very constantly. I sometimes don't realize how that affects. We're different people and it's hard to put two schedules, preferences together, right? What schedule? I don't have a schedule. More or less schedules. If you leave one person to do most of the chores, for example, kind of put some tension. Yeah. Uh, Dana has moments where she wants to do everything. And I feel bad because I'm not doing anything in that moment. But then you usually make maybe not everything at one moment, but over the days yeah. you do more than me. So we equate it like yeah. that kind Yeah, so she, she probably feels bad when she doesn't do it constantly. I feel bad when I don't do... A lot in, at the same time. ...cleanups in one day, you know. <laughs> but it, it kind of, you know, somehow it gets clean. What to do when your partner has an insomnia a problem and constantly affects. So that's a bit hard. I uh, we have a final solution for that. The only solution we have is having separate rooms and having like an extra room where I can stay if I cannot sleep. You feel safer and better when I'm sleeping with you or when I'm in the room next to you, but I fall asleep faster usually. I take a book, I start reading, you're there, eventually you get sleepy and uh, somehow, sometimes, 
we managed to, you know, cure temporarily the insomnia. We haven't found exactly a solution to this. Every time I see someone mentioning that they want to have separate rooms from their yeah. partner when they live together, even if they sleep in the same room, a lot of people are like, oh yeah, but then why are you living together? And it's like, just because you move together doesn't mean you are like separate persons. Like, when you live with your family in the same house, don't you see the, your family every day? Don't you spend time with your family? When, it's the same. When you're dating someone, you're not supposed to be the same person. No, yeah, absolutely. But it I really don't understand why people have like so much stigma let's say against the yeah, idea of having yeah. separate spaces when you discuss do you mix spanish romanian and english yes we do not spanish no i don't ever use spanish when we fight that's what this person is fight, no we no don't. never sometimes a word comes to one of us and it's in romanian or in english or even in spanish in her case and it's funny for some reason considering that you met in an app do you have recommendations in that regard yes uh first tip always meet in person like make yeah. sure it's not a serial key yeah. in a public place of course talk to the person on the chat a lot of time not a lot of time but did enough time ask about the religion and politics in the first conversation yeah. actually like discard the possibility yeah. of save yourself a bad date you know people say like you never should talk about politics or no, or religion talk. the first date and i'm like no you should because you can save yourself a lot of time no that's like, the first thing you did <laughs> yeah i was like so do you support lgbt rights <laughs> yeah and you were like yeah of course yeah. <laughs> that's a thing in romania like, yeah that's a thing because I encounter homophobic yeah. people on Tinder before and no. What was the first thing that you thought when you saw each other for the first time? I don't know if I should hmm. say it. And what was it? Do you remember? Yes, I do remember. But I don't know if it's cruel to say. Tell me. I thought you were a bit taller. Uh, it's okay. Short king. No, you're not short, but I thought, I don't know why, but I imagine you like super tall. I don't know why you had mm. that energy. And then I saw you had like a little bit more than me. First time I saw her, I was like, isn't she cold? Because it was November and she had only one sweater on. And knee socks, and I knee was socks. wearing knee socks. Yes, in November in Romania is no joke. But I, I thought you were really cute. I was like, he's cute, I, I like him. I and knew. then we were struggling to find a restaurant with a table yeah, because yeah. everything was full that day. I was so worried. No, yeah, we went to Verdana and now we go there occasionally just to remember the first day. Yeah. How do you solve problems? Problems. Do you have to speak it at the moment that you prefer or you prefer to wait? I always prefer to talk it out or no wait. I have a rule I think I learned this I saw it in a movie or I don't know where don't go to bed upset Yeah, don't go to bed angry with each other. Yeah, because that's... then it becomes like a two-day fight, right? And it's serious Yeah, that's a good advice actually like always work it out before even if all day you've been like <laughs> Talk it out before sleep at least mm. and if you have some activity that, that you do together Even if you're mad try to do it or at least invite you know like shower yes like shower yeah we have so many problems in the shower because she, she would hate me at some point and i was like so you want to shower and so we get there and she's like <laughs> but she you know it it i don't know makes it easier i'm like showering yeah, there. It's like give me, giving me the stink i like switches to cold water sprays me <laughs> i can't do that <laughs> no. i've never done that i'm not that cruel things are tend to be like normalized in relationships that you think is are not okay and vice versa extreme controlling yep like people who are very controlling with like every single move that their partner does i don't want to say jealousy because i think jealousy is a normal feeling like everyone experiences jealousy everyone has been jealous at some point it's how you handle it control born out of jealousy that's what it is usually right you know this is the thing that I think guys have most of the time and I would expect even at some point someone to ask so you let her go to a concert what am I supposed to do stop her physically I mean, she's an adult I trust her of course I let I let her go it's like you know I, it doesn't make any sense for me no yeah also the other option is you going with me and you wouldn't have yeah, fun I if you do <laughs> but this applies to everything you know I don't have to let you do anything and you don't have to let me do anything absolutely what other thing Forcing yourself to, let's say, be in a what's considered like expected for a relationship, even if it doesn't mm, fit you. Mm -hmm, like, for mm -hmm. example, the thing with living together, if we force ourselves to share the same room, we will end up hating each other. So the fact that we have separate rooms is like an accommodation that suits our relationship really mm. well. But some people may look it weird. And if we try to force ourselves to do what other people do, that will be a bad thing. Like, I think everyone should like put their limits and like... Your relationship is a very unique entity. How do you support each other when one of you is going through a difficult time emotionally? Lots of cuddling. Lots of cuddling, for me at least. If you don't know how to help, just ask. Like, really, like, I feel people are very afraid of asking sometimes, but just ask. Like, is there any way that I can help you right now? Is there yeah, something yeah. you want? You want me to leave you alone? After the attraction phase, I assume like the first stage, how do you manage to keep the sparkle? Cosplay. 
Um, no, we haven't done cosplay. No, we have done uh, other things, but not you know, cosplay. a lot of people say this, and I kind of understand what they mean because obviously it's not like the first months when we dated. Yeah. But the attraction has not faded. It's no. still there. Yeah, exactly. It hasn't faded. If it helps, you can always spice up, try new things in sex. I know it's very taboo to say that, but it's true. Like yeah. try new things. It's not gonna be the same. Like I said, it's not gonna be the same as in the first months. That doesn't mean that your love for each other has faded. You know, it just has to deal with furry sun creaming in the other room a job uh, i don't know it's like it, it, it feels more like family you know don't it feels more familiar don't expect to be in a constant honeymoon sex becomes better with time like i don't think the first sex is never that good as the later on sex yeah. because you know each other better you know each other's body and it's easier to communicate as well when you already have like more trust so in this case i will say that contrary to the popular belief what has happened to me like attraction wise is that i'm more attracted to you with the time and I can say the same. What is the thing that you think makes you like get along with humor? Humor, yeah. Humor is super important. Humor is very important. Like we every night we have this tradition that we, we lay down with each other and we watch memes. Like we, we like show each other memes that we say through, during the day. I have the best memes. Because usually you get more memes than I do. In English as well, so we can enjoy them together. We know each other's we parents. We know each other's parents. Actually, we went to a family in Easter's. We went, all the family, my mom, her partner. Mm, they met the family. Well, you don't know my dad or Tio, but you might meet them They're far away. Point. Since I came here uh, for college, I've been living without my parents. Five, is... six years? No, it's seven and something. You have way more time. I haven't been living with my parents since one year and a half, two mm. years. Yeah, since I'm here, basically. Which activities or hobbies you don't like or you cannot do together? Concerts. Concerts. Also, she likes bungee jumping, whatever the hell. <laughs> I like I... like sporty, the extreme sports. I, I want to go paragliding and you cannot paraglide with me. No. <laughs> we like to cringe. That's a hobby. Oh, yeah, but that's something that we do together. Yes, we do together. How do you know you're together because of love and not because you're used to each other? I look at you and I feel at home and I feel peace and I feel happy. That's so sweet. Yeah, but I, I'm saying it seriously, like I'm not saying it to be sweet, it, it's serious, like I, I feel that, like you're my comfort person, so... <laughs> I, I grew used to you, and I don't see anything wrong with that, <laughs> but uh, I, know, I don't know, I, I love you, I just know I do. Do you get tired of spending so much time with each other? What do you do in that situation? We just go to separate rooms. <laughs> we spend a lot of time sometimes in separate rooms. No, yeah, like for example, you're playing or watching something that I don't want to watch. Yeah. And I, you know, sometimes I pop in, I was like, are you okay? And she's like, Animal Crossing, yeah, sure. <laughs> yes. Right. I just move along. How do you manage to live well together? Do you need way too much money? Do you have a stable job? Yes, both have sta we both have stable jobs right now. Yeah, I no, think no, that depends for... on the country. Here, as a couple, if you want to rent something that has two separate spaces, both yeah. need to be yeah. earning at least a little bit more than minimum wage. A also, little bit more. We help out with, uh, you know, groceries. We buy each other, like, share or share. No, yeah, things. sometimes, like, I buy you the stuff or you buy me the stuff. Stuff. We don't have this thing of 50 50 strictly. Yeah, it's like sometimes I do things for you Sometimes you do things for me, but we do divide the money like and he takes all he makes the calculation And I trust him. I know he's not gonna ask me for more money than I have to. In Romania, it's not that much, you know Which contraception do you use? Condoms. Yeah, condoms. Always. Uh, we tried birth control, but I, my body reacted really poorly to it I, I know like the first day I was feeling like I was gonna die And also I don't think it's a good idea because since I don't have a regular sleep schedule maybe if I don't take it at the hour and it was so complicated like the woman was like okay you have to take it for 21 days then you have to make a pause of eight days mm -hmm. then you have to retake it now they're perfecting the pill for men so who knows yeah maybe. this is what the person asked there is the injection for men there in Romania injection there's an injection yeah contraception where is the injection taking place? I don't know but we can look up well, I don't yeah, know if there yeah. is but so far condom no yeah with condoms we're fine we don't have any problem how do you manage to sleep with someone who sleeps with an eye light that's towards you with a softer light yeah if it's really soft you don't mind and it's on one side and i sleep facing the other side and it's fine yeah yeah <laughs> I usually I like I need darkness and quiet and she sleeps with noise and light 
but we make it work. I do think that if it's if you have like anxiety attacks, you should talk to a doctor first of all. Because for example, I used to have more before, but since I got prescribed emergency medication, that has changed a lot. Like if I feel one is coming, I just take emergency medication and it's not a problem. Aside from that, I think something that helps is being super clear. Mm -hmm. Like I, I even said that in one of my last videos in my channel, communication is to be super precise and clear. Never tell him to never do stuff like, oh, we need to talk later, or I ha there's something that I have to tell you, you know, like yeah, leave I, the suspense. I don't have anxiety per se, but I who likes that? No one likes that, but imagine if someone has anxiety yeah, and catastrophizes, yeah. it's like 10,000 times worse. I always wanted commitment. I was afraid before of commitment. I always wanted commitment. <laughs> I, I'm that kind of boy. <laughs> No, I, at some point I was because I, I had like the experience that eventually I wouldn't feel the same. It happened to me way too often and I was like, maybe I'm not meant to be in relationships and then I met this blob. Ow. And now we're blobs together. Yes. The cutest thing how about she sleeps. You? How she sleeps is the cutest thing I've ever seen. With her knees up somehow, it shouldn't be possible. And yeah. <laughs> I thought that was weird, not cute. So it's cute, for me it's cute. <laughs> so it's cute when I sleep. Cute, yeah. Also you don't talk, so that's even cuter. F*** off. <laughs> for me? No, you see I was gonna say something <laughs> nice, but you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> no, because now okay, I'm... Can I answer for you? Can now I I'm salty. I'm gonna answer for you. When I sing to the cat. Oh, that's so cute, yes. You sometimes sing to the cat. Like I randomly yeah. run into the living room and you're like singing to the cat. And I can't sing for you. <laughs> but it's so cute. <laughs> you're like... You are su you're such a cat that you're a major and when I met him he was like yeah I actually like dogs more than cats bullshit he loves cats any advice for young couples that start to live together I don't move out without savings yeah that's good advice that's the main advice that I can give have at least some savings just in case before even thinking about moving out mm. that's the most important thing no yeah. that's a word v well, 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 like well, well. how do you talk again after a fight in the shower slowly in the shower slowly you know you... most of the time i think you do the first step on that yeah i cannot <laughs> stand it being upset with each other i don't like it who likes it but i don't like it especially i don't like it either i just like swallow <laughs> how do i know that i really like someone or it's just like a capriccio, mm. it's a capriccio. You know, it's a capriccio. Yeah, yeah only you can know that i don't know i don't know i have no idea what aspects of you have improved because of the relationship? Oh, I've changed many opinions. Oh, you changed many opinions, many yeah. Opinions. For the better, I would say. I would think for yeah. the better. And too. I've gathered a lot of knowledge about psychology, about uh, abortion that I did. I had no idea. You know, I probably <laughs> did things, watched things, listened to things, many of them against my will, <laughs> that I wouldn't have otherwise. I discovered that I'm capable of feeling love. <gasps> like romantically uh -huh. like long term for who <laughs> for the cat of course <laughs> i feel like i'm a better person overall i don't know i think i'm like i'm more considerate than i you quit smoking better. i quit smoking that's a I major will take thing part of the credit no yes i quit smoking thanks to you because you forced me to listen to that audiobook and it worked like if you want to quit smoking read that book or listen to the audiobook i don't care but it works i know i have one year and a half without smoking i quit my addiction mm. thanks to this relationship <laughs> Like that's in part. That's no, but it was mostly because of you. Yeah, yeah, but but you did the you know the not for problem. you, but you helped me with yeah, that. No, yeah, you, you 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 took the effective action that actually led me to quit. I think that's a very good indicator of whether or not a relationship is good if it makes you a better person or a worse person. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. What do you think about open relationships? I'm not against the model. Like I think it's fine. Like if it works for some people. I think uh, it's not for me. No, it's fine. Like I I don't think it's for me either. At some point I thought that, but it didn't happen with you. <laughs> it's fine for some people, not for me. Whatever works for er everyone, as long as it's consensual and everyone agrees with. Is there any habit that the other person has that the other one doesn't like? What do you do to solve it? Spiciness. I, I, there's one for me. I have one, yes. She leaves bottles of Coke and water all over the place and glasses as well. It's not the worst thing, but... No, yeah, yeah, I, I get it. No. It's a thing, you know? We need to put like something in place, you know, to do <laughs> In your case, but I mean, this is also because I'm super sensitive. Existing. <laughs> but like, sometimes you're a bit passive aggressive and you don't realize it. Like, yeah, yeah. but you really don't realize it. Like, I, I, know, so. I know you don't really do it with bad intentions, but sometimes. And sometimes I feel a bit, especially if I'm more sensitive than they or something. But it's not like as often, it's just sometimes. See, you always have something to work on. I'm gonna try to not leave glasses. I'm gonna try to be less mean because there, there are better ways to communicate 
<laughs> when you want the other person to do something. Oh my god, I'm making you sound like if, as if you were super mean. It's not like something super. No, it's, it's very sassy. For example, I know it's I, sassy. It is. I, yes, you're I sassy. I recognize those moments. It's like she, I know, places a plate there and still has some food. So therefore, there's a chance that the food will get in and clog the sink. And I'm like, I'm there, and I'm like, so you're placing that plate there. <laughs> You know? <laughs> You're sassy! I think, I'm like, I'm like, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Oh, one time it happened that a bird defecated on both of us. <laughs> so that's embarrassing, I guess. Yeah, but it was so awkward because we were having such a lovely day. We yeah, just yeah. went back from a date and then... <laughs> Have you ever broke up for a while? No. Never, never. We've never broke up. We're fine. Oh my god, don't break up with me! I'm not. Just the idea, no. How, how dare you, Agus? No, don't do that. No, no. I just imagine it. No, we're not doing that. No, no, no. How do you keep the relationship working even if one of the couple has a men mental issues and doesn't know how to talk about it? She knows how to talk about yes, it. Yes, <laughs> that's the thing. I go to, I have my mental health problems, but I go to therapy and I know how to talk about yeah. it. What have you started doing since you're in a relationship that you didn't do before? Clean cat litter. <laughs> I didn't used to do that. Find black hair in the shower. Dark curly hair in curly the shirt. Uh, buying some men products in the supermarket. Men products are the most uh, functional. <laughs> yeah, it's like everything in one. What do you think about big age gaps? I'm 17 and my couple, you shouldn't be dating. I don't think age gaps are necessarily bad if you're in the right life stage. But 17, 30, it's no, I, I do believe that that's wrong. If you Not on your part, but more on uh, his part or her part. If you're 30 and your partner is 40, yeah. no problem, no problem. It this, 30, 45, it's this, fine. This, this, like one is paying taxes, has a job, the other one is in high school. It's, yeah, the other one hasn't even like got to college or anything. It's no, different. it's way too different life stages. I, I mean, I, I understand culturally in some places, some parties accept that, I know that's culturally common in Latin America but I personally don't think it's good and I, I do believe you should get it. Yeah, this is has been the Q&A. When we started we had, I know because I took a screenshot of everyone, around 200 questions. You took a screenshot from everyone? Yeah, so... I never do that, I just pick random questions. Don't, uh, don't be upset if yours didn't make it in, I hope it did, but maybe we answered some of them anyway. Thank you for watching. I might be doing a small change of content in my channel. I'm thinking about doing something about news. Oh, that's yeah. a good idea. I like I... doing news. <gasps> Look at that, the yawn. That means we have to end. Yeah. Bye. Bye guys.